They're playing checkers. My boy Blaine is playing Monopoly. So I'm clear. This is my business? You, you, you and Chief had me going out and getting food orders for you. I was a little gopher. Oh, you're so good. You're so convincing. You deserve an Emmy. I mean, you're TV good. Let's not get carried away. Daniel Day-Lewis ain't shaking in his boots. You had me mopping up. You, you... Tell me where my money is, and you'll never see me again. Well, if I was the owner, wouldn't it make it my money? Chief is dead. I got shot. That is our money. It might sound like your mom, but, uh, where'd you last see it? Chief had it. Might start there. See you around, Blaine. I quit. Look, I know it's a little fuzzy in there, but I'm pretty sure I must have had a two-week notice policy in place here. I know. Wave it. But don't expect a letter of recommendation. If you're ever feeling jumpy or whatever, call me. I'll come over. I owe you. I could play cards or something. I don't know. If you had your memory, you'd uh, understand how ironic your offer is. So word is you lost your memory. I did. It was the darndest thing. I looked under all my couch cushions in my car. <laughs> I'm glad to see your sense of humor made it across the Lethe. The what? The Lethe. Mm -hmm. It's a river in the land of the dead. One sip, and you just forget who you were when you were alive. Perhaps so. Uh, we could get down to the business at hand. Fear of death is the lock of humanity's prison. I'm not afraid of dying, Liv. I'm afraid of remembering. Find a guinea pig who wants to remember his old life, huh? I was just thinking about you. Well, that can't be the best use of taxpayer dollars. I was doing a pro bono. What if my memory comes back and I just see stuff that I'm unequipped to deal with? Well, that's not the Blaine I know. You can't just assume the worst. Yeah, well, the Blaine you knew killed people, okay? And behavior like that just doesn't come out of the blue. A few of those people probably begged for their lives. Maybe you'll find some good memories in there. You taking the warp tour, Peyton? You met my dad. You got an inkling of what my childhood was like. You get what you're hoping for, and I'll get back all the memories that led me to becoming a murdering brain dealer. Or maybe, maybe your memories come back, but you stay this new and improved version of Blaine. A boy can hope. Uh, Major's gonna get his memory back. And the good news doesn't stop there. Um, this is me. This version of me, small business owner, amateur lounge singer, guy that feels lucky every time you walk through that door. Major's memory's going to come back. It fades out slowly at first and then completely, and then a couple days later, it just snaps back into place. And you know this because? Because it's... It's what happened to me. And it's what gave me the idea that I could change my life. Change who I was. Change the way people viewed me. Well, it worked. <laughs> You've made a fool of me. Hey, Curly. I hope my 91 Leont is up to your standards. <laughs> the latest poll numbers in Seattle's mayoral race show District Attorney Floyd Barakas trailing by 10 points. Private polling by both parties is an even larger drop of what? what happened to you? Two requests.
So you have to blow through, I'd blow your brains out. First, you're gonna show me where your new brain suppliers are headquartered. I, I, I can do that. What else? We're done with the trim outside. Careful there. You almost had another stain of those overalls. I think you might have. Donnie boy! I can hear your mouth breathing. Really doing it for me. How the hell are you getting reception from six feet under? Sleep with one eye open, my friend. I know where you and my dear old dad have set up shop, and I'm coming for you both. So if there's anything left on your bucket list, I suggest you... Someone order some meth? Wait! Hey, Dad. Want to go have a catch? I have to say, I'm proud of you. I didn't think you had it in you. This took initiative. Well, in that case, all is forgiven. Look at you now. I managed to turn a spoiled little brat into a man. A man with ambition. Really? You're gonna go with a boy named Sue Defense, huh? I had a business venture you're gonna find interesting. Let's focus on the future, huh? McDonough and Son. Unlimited growth. Unlimited wealth. Step into my office. Nah, you step into my tub. Come on. Come on. I got work to do. The old McDonough family estate. So many childhood memories. After you would beat me, or humiliate me, or psychologically torture mom, I'd visit this well. Mm -hmm. I'd toss a penny inside mm -hmm. and wish you'd drop dead. <laughs> old man says what? <laughs> You were miserable because I beat you. I beat you because you were miserable. I offered you a shot at making millions of dollars, hundreds of millions, together, father and son. But poor baby has hurt feelings. Yeah, weak. You're no businessman. You were a waste of my sperm. I gotta say, that kind of stings. There's about a dollar forty in pennies down there, Dad. Maybe you can bribe your way out. Surprise. Not really.
But with the two dead zombies out there, I'd be a lot more surprised if your pops was sitting in that chair. <laughs> Don't worry. He's alive and... well. Like I care. Time for vision to start after eating brain five minutes. Length of vision, two hours. Penmanship, poor. The man was willing to literally take a bullet for his son. Can you imagine what that would be like growing up with a father that cares that much? Yeah, me neither. Hungry? That's from an impotent proctologist, by the way. Enjoy. Taking that bullet should do wonders for Baracus's poll numbers. And the zombie mayor? That'll help me as well. <laughs> you see what I did there? Oh, Father. I'm so glad you're still around to experience this. It's like all my wishes are coming true. This candy factory blows. I'm a Janina. I'm a Baba at the key Baba Kudashiro. Hey, Baba Shah. O Arne. Huh? Hello? It's like corrupt government officials in Bangladesh don't even want to make money. <sighs> you dream of something for so long, you start to fear that when you finally get to experience it, it might not live up to expectations, but so far, so good. Don't you dare. Bad timing, honey. Don't take this personally. You know what? I'm real tired of getting shot. You have a nice nap, Stacy. Look at you all snug as a bug in a rug in our blissful hereafter model in mahogany. You know, we can save you a few bucks if you prefer bird. I shot you. I slit your throat. We buried you. Mm hmm And yet here I am. How the hell are you still alive? Well, I'm eating a human brain. So that makes me a... Cannibal? Technically, I suppose. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. I'm eating a human brain. I'm indestructible, therefore I am a... Serial killer? Again, technically. You know what, hell with it. I'm here, I'm a zombie, get used to it. Fine, you're a zombie. I'm Santa Claus, and if you let me out of here, I'm prepared to give you presents beyond your wildest dreams. Mm. Bad news, Stace. My little elves already found your sleigh. All the gifts inside. Oh, damn, that's pretty. Look, I know your situation may look dire here, Stacy, but you have options. Sure, one of those options involves you being buried alive in this overpriced box. But the other leaves you alive and provides you with what I am proud to say is a truly remarkable business opportunity. So. Would you like to hear more about that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Listen to your business plan, huh? What was option one again? <laughs> Do you know what you're looking at? A brain. Wrong. $25,000. This can sustain a zombie for a month. Forget truffles. Forget utopium. Brains are the future. And this is your chance to get in on the ground floor of something truly special. You see, zombies are about to become a thing. You know what? Ah. I think I'm gonna pass on this golden opportunity. Ah. Now, if you could give me the common courtesy of dying, I'll take ah. my leave.
I don't think you see the potential here, Stacy. Here's what I propose. You excel at moving contraband around the globe. I need brains from abroad. You'll be my international business partner. And in a year, you will earn back all the goodies in that briefcase. But by then, we'll have raked in so much profit that it'll just be walking around money, you know? Do I start? Hey, is uh, Peyton around? Kidding. Nice PJs. You want to go kick some ass? Mm. All right, Blaine. Avengers are dish best served cold. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much fresher than this. How about you? You want in? I wouldn't say no. This is nice. Do we make this a weekly thing or? <laughs>